This lesson, Consumers and Decomposers and Nitrogen, is about the difference between consumers and decomposers and adding a term detritivore in here. And um, in particular, looking at then how this fits into the um, nitrogen cycle and the, the recycling of matter, linking back to what we saw in chapter one. So in membrane plants, we're making carbohydrates, glucose, etc., and proteins, and amino acids, and DNA, and RNA, and the nitrogen is really important for these two things, or these three things, I guess I should say. And so the, the plant's role is to make this, and they're using the sunlight, remember, as a source of energy. And then they're also getting the raw materials of the molecules from the earth, from the ground and the air. And remember, they got the CO2 from the air and the H2O from the groundwater. All right, so let's talk about this and how this cycles. So the consumers eat the plants. We got that. We talked about earlier how we get the energy out of that. And then the consumers are releasing the CO2. That should be review. And they're also uh, releasing water. And those recycle around back into there. Let's talk about our consumers. So let's draw our little rabbit. There's Mr. Rabbit. And another consumer would be a mushroom. And these are both consumers, and they're actually quite similar. The mushroom is actually much more similar to the animal than it is to the plant because the mushroom grows in the ground and in doing that it absorbs the nutrients from the ground just like and those nutrients are in say a dead log that came from the plant and the animal eats the plant directly so they're both eating plants and in doing that they are breaking them down and they are doing cell respiration and in doing cell respiration they are giving off the CO2 and the water and then heat and that heat or we talk about the chemical ATP and so that's a consumer and so another term for this here is called a detritivore Detritivore. And a detritivore is a consumer that eats dead things in the ground. Um, they're very similar to, say, a scavenger that eats, that's an animal that eats dead things. And both these things are digesting, so this, this detritivore is digesting just the way the animal does, and no more complex. And so all they're recycling for the plant is the CO2 and the water. Now let's talk about what happens in the soil. In the soil we have bacteria and also fungi. And those do the same thing. They give off water and CO2, but they, and that's working as detritivores, but some of them also work as decomposers. And that's a little different. You can think of the decomposer like a super digester. And the decomposer then breaks these things down into individual atoms like nitrogen and potassium and phosphorus and calcium. And those then get recycled and taken back up by the plants. And the key one we're focusing on in this chapter is nitrogen, because nitrogen is essential in the DNA and the amino acids, and therefore then in the proteins. 
And so this understanding the role of the consumer and decomposer in the nitrogen cycle is very important because the bacteria are a key player in this nitrogen cycle. And the bacteria fix the nitrogen and they convert it into forms that the plant can absorb. And those forms are like ammonium. And then that gets converted by another nit another bacteria into nitrites. And then that might get converted into nitrates. And then that gets absorbed by the plant. The plant, most things can't absorb nitrogen just as it is in the atmosphere. But it has to get converted into one of these molecules first and then the plant can absorb it and the animal can't absorb it in these forms at all and so therefore the animal to get the nitrogen it has to go through the plant otherwise the animal would not get any nitrogen and the animal doesn't really get the nitrogen in straight form they get it in the proteins and the amino acids in the DNA so the plant does a key service for us here. It takes the nitrogen that has been fixed by the bacteria and puts it into another form and then the animals eat that and they get that nitrogen in those proteins, amino acids, DNA. And then that animal dies and when that animal dies, so now we have our rabbit not so happy, when the animal, animal dies then the bacteria and the fungi decompose it and release that nitrogen back into these forms and back up by the plant again. And the cycle continues. And so that matter is recycled and that, con that connects back to chapter one where we talked about matter always being recycled.